Oh yeah, champions, now we're gonna call it the top heavy drill, which means if you watch players playing like this, okay, very tight, it's not fluent at all. What's happening is they're hitting the ball as if the grip is heavy and not the top of the racket, okay? So imagine there's like a lot of weight. The racket is extremely heavy on the top of the racket and ask yourself, how would I swing if the top of the racket is extremely heavy it's going to be the opposite of this it's going to be more like that what that does also is it's almost like the racket wants to pull your body forward just imagine there's a heavy weight on the top of your racket and the racket is just pulling okay fantastic draw to get racketed speed to fluent motion where there's actually some tools that you can buy online it's a little racket that you can stick on top of your racket here. It's a heavy tennis ball. You stick it on both sides and then the top is heavy. It will also give you that feeling if you are struggling to imagine a top heavy racket that could be very useful for a beginner player. The 40% draw, the one I mentioned earlier as well. What you can do is it's very similar to the previous one. It ties in together. So you grip, ask yourself if I had to grip this racket at 100%, what would it feel like? And then you try gripping the racket 100% throughout the whole swing. I want you to notice how I'm so limited on my swing. It's so stiff, although I'm gripping it as hard as I can. So if that was 100%, you relax completely. You can look at my fingers relaxed. You want to be holding at 40%, I like to say. Hold it like it's just tight enough to make, to make sure the racket doesn't fly out of your hand, okay? So 40%. Let it go. Notice how loose it is. And now again, I am swinging. The racket is flowing and I'm not forcing. That's a 40% rule, guys. And if you want numbers, I always recommend seven to 10 rest. Seven to 10 rest, seven to 10 rest, three sets, and then take a longer break, okay? Because if you have like five exercises, five drills you wanna do, five to six in one session, you can actually do all of them and you've played for an hour and you had a great productive session.